Civic history. This is my favorite course of all time. In fact, it's a very special course because it creates a framework for so many of the things you'll learn in other courses. Big history is more comprehensive than any other course, not just because of the amount of time it covers, but because of the way it takes what we know from the sciences, what we know from history, economics, and brings it all together. When I took big history, <clears throat> I felt like I knew a lot of the individual things already. I knew a bit about biology, a bit about physics, a bit about how civilizations had had more specialized roles and that populations had, had grown over time. But I'd never seen it all put together. So the reminder about the elements, the sun, the planets, early life and how uh, it went for so long as being single-celled and then we had this explosion of multi-celled uh, animals. The early human history and what we now know about that uh, very up to date. And then how as civilization came along, how it was agriculture, specialized roles, and certain characteristics of the, the different countries and continents that lead us to the world that, that we have today. So it put it all together. It made it all made sense. And in fact, it made me feel bad that I hadn't seen a course like this when I was young. I think I would have known a lot more uh, and been able to connect knowledge in ways uh, that I just wasn't able to do. And so I got excited about, hey, this is a course that everybody uh, should get the benefit of. In many ways, what you'll learn from big history is just the starting point. You'll want to uh, get more in depth on these various knowledge areas, and you'll want to start to form your own ideas. Uh, when we think about rising incomes, longer lifespan, you know, our ability uh, to treat people in a just way, to move from just our family or our tribe out to not only the country level, but to thinking about humanity as a whole. And yet, given the scale, how do we address that? How do we organize to solve problems in that way? And so the end of the course will leave you with a lot of questions. This course will give you the background, but it's your curiosity, your thinking that will uh, make it valuable to you and your intellectual ambition.